was this experience for you like? I, I know for you, Adam, you, you made the top 50 a few years back and now all the way here. So, so what's that like for you? Oh, gosh. You know, I've been auditioning for this show for eight years. I've auditioned a total of 13 times. And um, I, I've only made it onto the show in season 12 and this season. So it's kind of crazy, you know, looking back and thinking that I've done all of this and I finally made it here. And, you know, my goal, you know, would a winning would have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and settle for the fact that you don't have to win to be an American Idol. And I've learned that... Um, through all of this hard work that they've had us do. From here, American Idol has just acted as a platform and it's up to us now to really make our success out of that. Yeah, well, you're both now a household name and I know uh, you're engaged, Adam, at home, so congratulations to you. But what's the process been like for you? I know you Thanks. talked all about finding yourself. So what would you recommend to some of our viewers at home, whether they want to sing or just in their personal life, to kind of find themselves in, you're, you're so confident on stage and I, I love that as Ada. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, um, finding yourself is something that some people do quicker than others. It took me quite some time to say, you know what, I'm gonna, I, I'm a diva, and now I'm gonna look like a diva when I'm on stage. You know, we all find ourselves in different ways. It just happened that, that was my outlet. Um, just don't be afraid of letting your letting your heart guide you wherever you're gonna go. Don't let the outside people kind of deter you and tell you what you need to be doing. And Michelle, uh, through this season, I think the producers at ABC do a fabulous job of sort of telling your story, and we, we find such a close connection to both of you guys. Uh, but let's rewind a few episodes back. Luis Fonsi, do you think you'll be touring with him? Because in my opinion, I think you guys had a little chemistry. Definitely. <laughs> we found some uh, connection on stage. I think, you know, the fact that we were both Latinos and, and that we got to, I got to perform next to him. It was, it was a great experience. And... I didn't get his phone number, oh, but well, hopefully maybe he's I watching touch this his interview. car, so in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luis Fonsi, if you're watching this interview, I really hope to work with you in the future. One thing, though, we did Pinky Promise behind cameras. We didn't say this, but we did Pinky Promise that we were going to do a song together. So hopefully in the name of Jesus, we will. We're all <laughs> praying for that to happen. I think it would be a huge hit. And uh, speaking of songs, Michelle, I know you have a single out that you performed you. on the show. You're performing probably back home in Miami. So tell us about where we can find your music and what we can expect next. Absolutely. Well, I would like to invite people to follow me on my social media, Michelle Suzette. S U S S E double T. <laughs> so far, right now, I don't have that song out, but as soon as I get to Miami, I'm gonna record it, get in the studio, and put it out. Because I had a bunch of feedback from people telling me how inspired they felt for my song, for my original song, and this is definitely something that I want to live for. There is so much still to come. And, and you know, I said, uh, as of making it to the top 10, I said, I'm content, I've done what I needed to do, I've gained the platform that I needed, and um, you know, from here, I, I've gotten more than enough exposure to make something of myself. And I have so, so much planned. You're gonna be seeing a lot of me across the country, you know, hopefully we're working on some things. I'm really hoping to get some stuff out of the country that's already being worked on as well. Uh, I'm gonna start, uh, continue writing and get some original music out within the year. Nice. Uh, so that will be absolutely fantastic. There's still so much more to come, y'all. Make sure to watch my social media at Ada to keep all that up to date. But well, we love both of you. <laughs> and uh, last but certainly not least, your pick for American Idol. Who do you think is going to take home the win? I think one of the top seven is going to win. Ah, yeah. there you go. Um, well said, well <laughs> said. Spoken like a true politician over there, the you know? the top seven, of course. <laughs>